how cool it would be if you can actually develop a web application just using Python and without the need for you to know JavaScript. At the PyCon 2022, the makers of the Python distribution for scientific computing announced a new framework called PyScripts, which uses Python in HTML code to build applications. You can use Python in your HTML to create rich Python applications in the browser using a mix of Python with standard HTML. You actually don't need to know JavaScript. PyScript is not just HTML only. It is more powerful because of the rich and accessible ecosystem of Python libraries. So let's actually head over to PyScript website. Here on the homepage, you can click on the download button here to download PyScript locally on your computer. Or you can actually copy these two lines of code and add them to the head of your HTML code, which I'm going to show you how to do that later in the video. So here are actually the core components of PyScript, which I recommend you to actually check it out. As you can see here, Python is being executed in the browser and can run many popular packages of Python such as NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-learn and many more. Python code also interacts with JavaScript code and many more of the features. So now, let's actually create a simple Python application using HTML and Python code and see how Python code is being executed in your web browser. To do that, all you need is actually a code editor and a web browser. As for me, I'm actually using VS Code Editor as my favorite code editor for this project. So in your project panel, you actually create an HTML file index called index.html and then hit enter. Then I'm gonna create a simple HTML template to get started. So now, what we actually gonna do is to link PyScript to our HTML file so that we would be able to have access to the PyScript user interface. So let's actually head over to PyScript website. On the install section here, I would then copy the following two lines of code. And then we're gonna paste them in the head section here in our HTML document. So now that we've actually linked PyScript to our HTML file, let's now go ahead and print hello world to our web browser using Python. To do that, we first of all create the PyScript tag in between our HTML body tag. And this tag allows you to run multi-line Python programs and have them printed on the web browser page. Then in between the PyScript tag, I will then print hello world. So if you are using the VS Code editor, just ask me, you can actually use the live server extension here to run the code on your browser. This is awesome, right? As you can see, we've printed hello world with Python code in our web browser. So in this second example, we will do a bit more by using Python date time to show the current date and also by applying some CSS styling to beautify our text. So I'm gonna open up my file explorer and then create a new Python file called datetime.py. Then the first thing I'm actually gonna do is to import my datetime function which I'm gonna say from datetime module import datetime. Then I'm gonna create a function called showDate, which takes no argument at this moment. Then assign a variable e to datetime.now function, which is gonna return the current date at this moment of time. Then I'm gonna print today's date is percent %s forward slash percent %s slash percent %s. This actually mean a placeholder of our dates like the day, month, and the year. Then percent e dot day, then e dot month, and then e dot year. Then finally, I'm gonna call the show date function. Back to my index.html, I'm gonna delete the print function here and then add the source attribute to my datetime.py file. And then back to my web browser. This is awesome, right? As you can see, the current date from our Python code has been printed out on the web browser window. So let's actually add some CSS styles to make the text a lot more better and nice. Back to my code editor, I'm going to open up my explorer panel and create a CSS style sheet called style.css. So if you don't know about CSS, it's actually a language that is mostly used to design and beautify websites. Then I'm gonna paste these styles I've created. And what this code does is applying these defined styles to the PyScript tag in our index.html file. Back to my browser window, 
as you can see, the CSS tags we defined has beautified our text. So lastly, I'm actually going to show you some of the few awesome applications developed in PyScript, like NYC Taxi, which is an interactive application for exploring and visualizing the NYC Taxi on the map. So here are some of the examples of the applications with PyScript, I recommend you to check them out. I will drop the link in the video description. They are from basic and simple applications like simple clock, to-do list and also advanced visualizations and dashboards. So if you want to see more tutorials about PyScript, let me know what you think about PyScript and what kind of application you want me to build in my next tutorial. If you are new to this channel and this video was helpful to you, please be sure to like and subscribe for more related content. See you in my next tutorial and as always, take care.